right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube, everyone live here on Twitch, it is Sunday in Germany, 7 p.m. And that means it is time for the arena. The dynamic duo is back after a long, long time. Abel, what's poppin', baby? What's up, Ribs? What's <laughs> up? I always wanted to speak German, but I forgot this is an English-speaking yeah, uh, channel, so... I was about to yeah. say, it's always funny, bef because before we go live, Abel and me, we always talk German, right? And then we have to switch just like that, yeah. so you guys can actually understand what we're trying to say. And what we're going to say is able 2v2 time, baby. Qualifier Ooh. number four in this dojo, the new addition to the Arena Empire. And it's looking spicy over here. Three qualified teams already. Yesterday, Faisal and Moody qualified alongside Kanimani, Video Games Yo, and Makuran and Rotha. And since I know, Avil, that you are a busy man, I'm going to show the lineup immediately while the chat Ooh. is going crazy. I see Miguel, I see Jeritza, Tigris with the Raid, Warchild. And so many more. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's take a look at today's lineup while we're already on a hype train. Because this is interesting, Abel. We see old players return to the arena. And it's gonna be good because all eyes on Soulset and Rinsla trying to make oh it my God. for the fourth time, Abel. They always basically make it to the finals <laughs> and then get eliminated. So today... I mean, Rips, if we are the dy dynamic duo, I think those two are the demon duo. I mean, Rinsla and Soulset? Abel, it's gonna be good because yeah. we have a lot of diversity today and I like that. We start with Lelo and Pino and Pino is someone, actually Lelo brought him to the Discord. We have never seen Pino before and I'm a big, big fan of these newcomers. They have to be sweats because, you know, Abel, matches are happening off stream before we have oh, our yeah. top eight set. And that means they already made it basically to the first half of this tournament. Today, match versus Cece. She is back, teamed up with Sith Lord. And that means, Abel, you might see some Kenshi gameplay today Ooh, in match number one. Sith Lord. And I feel a little bit bad because Sosa and Rinsla, while trying to make it again, oh my god, they got match versus one of the favorite teams in today's tournament. Coming from the NA side of things, our glass of rain and sparks melina slash tanya abel and these two they are literally winning tournaments over there in na left and right man rips imagine you know you're gonna go up, up against hourglass uh, one of the best na players right yes, now yes but then also when you beat him you go get you go against uh, sparks oh yeah, my god i would sparks, go crazy the little shitter you know trying oh, yeah. to conquer our events abel but he is insane definitely one of the best tanias out there and hourglass after winning like five or six coliseum tournaments in a row he tries to prove himself in the arena versus eu's finest Soulset and Rinsla, we don't have to introduce them anymore. Giris slash Shao and Baraka, that's just the upper half of the bracket. Baylight Snow, we had them yesterday in the 2v2 as well. Today, matched up versus Kitana Khan and Ekstar, or how we oh. like to call them, Abel, Team Zoning. Team Lame. <laughs> Team Lame, oh, the YouTube community is gonna like that. Oh, Kitana yeah. Khan, most likely Sindel slash Kitana, one of the Edenians. Ekstar, of course, most likely Reiko, or even worse, Raiden. It definitely is gonna start with oh, a big God. R at the start of the name. And last but not least, finally, they are here. They started the little shitters. Nada. The little shitters, yes, Abel. Teamed up together, trying to conquer one of the highly requested grand final spot at the beginning of February versus Evil Carnage at Pulan. That is the bracket of the day. And once again, I have to say a big, big thank you here to the entire chat because every single time, Abel, we go live with a new format, another tournament. These guys, they support like crazy. And... All that wouldn't be possible without the community in the back. I know how complicated it is currently for the competitive scene in MK1, Abel. I don't have to tell you. You know it as well. It's rough in these streets. And so I'm super, super grateful that so many people out there support us, support what we do, hoping that NRS finally sends some fixes our way. But that's just <laughs> it here for the intro. Abel, stop laughing. We're diving in. First match of the night. I see Lelo going first. And Cece is going to be the opponent. Oh no, Rips. I'll tell you something. I'm tell a bit me. nervous. I'm a bit nervous. No. Been why? a while since I did commentary. I just came from the gym. I might stumble a lot over my words. I'm peeling a uh, fruit right now. Hey, the, the thing is, I think everyone watching us here on Twitch, everyone on YouTube, at this point, they know, you know, that we're we unprofessional. Yeah, that we're shit. Oh, I don't, I don't even shit. know why they're yeah. watching. Probably because of all these great players. 
But let's take a look how this one is gonna turn out. Match number one starting. Lelo, of course, right to the Melina piece. And CC, yep, we are bringing Ashra. Two lives for each player. That's how we run these 2v2. I mean, Rips, are you sure they are, they are even watching? I mean, sure, eh, at this point, they're all blind watching your bald head. I, I think hate they're you. just listening at this point. I should have chosen Anyways. Fab for today's commentary. I already regret getting Abel on the mic. Round one, fight. <laughs> you need to, you need to get the rolls out of the way, you know, Rips. <laughs> for the good old time sakes. But, but yeah, we have CC on. Melina. Let's talk oh, about yeah. it. Melina, one of these characters, touches you once, erases your entire health bar with basically two combos. And Lelo is known for exactly that. Yeah, and Melina, one of those characters, Rips, at the start of the game, we all thought she's top five. Then we all put her in the bottom five. And now I gotta say, Rips, she is one of the best characters, in my opinion, in this game. Her one-touch scenario, her hard-to-blockable setups, her pressure, her rushdown, her mix-up situation, it is so good. It really is, yeah. And... And I think it is hard. I mean, we have so many potential characters sitting in top five in all of these tier lists, right? Yeah. Um, it, is, it is It is. a hard call. There are a lot of strong combinations, especially when you mix all these different cameos into the pool as well. But here, speaking of interesting things, good overhead from CC. Oh, yeah, the, the dirty Ashra. I, I gotta tell you, I hate going up against Ashra. That <laughs> over it, it hits me every time. It is so good. Yes, I talked about that with Fabs yesterday. And even Fabs said, you know what, Rip? It doesn't even matter if it's online, if it's offline. It is quite hard to block when you're oh, focused yeah. on the match. It also comes out, out of nowhere because they're really good Ashras. They don't do it often, right? They just do it once or twice. Speaking of once or twice, Leo doing a quick job here with the Melina on CC. Yep, Lelo, this man is here to play, trying to carry Pino through that first round. And once again, the reminder, this is a single elimination tournament. You have to win every single set to qualify for the grand finale. That's how it works. It is rough out here. But let's see who is gonna make it. But it's more like a traditional way of doing tournaments, right? A lot of people ask for that as well, Rips. We want a weekly qualifier where you just need to play once a week. And if you win, you're, right. for, uh, you're registered for the finals. Because normally, how the arena works, you play five weeks, three times, uh, four weeks, three times a week. Yeah, I think I said that right. Uh, and not just once, right? To qualify. Yep. And I think. Having both in the arena now is, is a good change and making it 2v2 as well. as well. Yes, I like it. The players ask for it. Of course, we always try to somehow make it work. But of course, I'm happy that the community is here with us, spending some time watching some MK because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Arena is a community tournament from the community for the community. But right now, CC trying to answer back down to her last life. Oh, the dirty teleport. Wait, what? What is happening right now? CC still got the pickup, not the full conversion, but still a little bit damaging. The Goro coming out really quick there. Gets hit by the overhead. Oh, this is going to be it, Rips. Oh, no. Goes for the hard to block. Nice block from CC. Gets hit by the low, though. Oh, yeah, this is looking CC, rough. She needs a miracle right now. And Lelo is saying, no, not today. Yeah, CC looking a little bit overwhelmed with that Medina, I gotta tell you, Rips. When that Medina is in your face, it's just overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it really I is. Spoke on the open. There's just so much pressure. Ooh, nice combo. Gets the breakout. And that is so dirty, you know? Ball roll with that safety net of the bus all good. Entire, I like that. Optimal punish here from Lelo. Sets up the Basaur, gets hit by it on wake up. No confirm though. There's a forward throw. It's looking rough for CC. Gotta make the right read. Has three sticks of water. Can get hit one more time. Nice to stagger. Oh, oh, get oh, it's a bit it. Yep, and now CC. Last break potentially in this set. Nice punish finally. Do we see the cash out? No, we can't get the full conversion. But this time, this has to be it. Oh, has no bar. Didn't look at her bar situation. Pedro could have killed there. Oh, let's hope it doesn't. Oh, no, oh, no this is gonna be blocked. Abel CC, she risked it all. But Lelo was ready. Yes, you're not allowed to do any mistakes versus these players. CC, she had that opportunity once to cash out with Fatal. Couldn't convert it, and Lelo is saying thank you very much, CC. But you're out. Now Sith Lord has to step up.
But I'm always so happy, you know, when I see CC and all these players return to the arena, compete in these tournaments, it's always an absolute blast. So thank you so much. And I see, of course, Runner Adams, just like every single day, Avil. This man joins here, supports immediately. Thank you so much, my friend, for the five euro donation. All the great comments on YouTube as well. You guys are amazing. And now Sith Lord, Avil, ready for some Kenshi? What the hell is this outfit? Hey, but this man is completely dripped up. I don't know what you're talking about. That looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> this man looks like a freaking smurf. <laughs> yeah. What is the name of the female smurf? Smurferline or something? No, it, I think it's Smurfet in English. Smurfet? Chat, chat, chat correct me if I'm, if I'm right or wrong, please. The man has the wrist for that smurf, I swear to God. Anyways, look at this right now. The pressure from Lelo is really good, but there's the opening. Gets into the central sense right there. What is the combo? Mm, 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 mm. Just beat him up, just like in school. 2v1 ribs. <laughs> Overhead connect. Oh, the reset is so dirty. And right now, Lelo, wait a minute. Can't believe. Sento is now gone. Now it's really rough. In this situation, has three sticks of butter, but 50% left. Fatal Ball is on board, but will not kill. There's a buzzsaw. Nothing he could have done there. Sith Lord. Ooh, dodged it by just holding north here. That was a good whiff punish. Just sweep. Get out of my face. <sighs> Beautiful forward pro. 13% sponsored by the Sub-Zero cameo. Evil, do you still think Sub-Zero is the best cameo for Kenshi? Oh, hell no. <laughs> really? What, what do you think is the optimal uh, cameo in most of the matches? Cyrex. Cyrex? Cyrex? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm a, uh, call me crazy, Red but... I think Sub Zero is not even the second best cameo for him. Really? I think Scorpion is even better. Yeah, Sub Zero he gives you good damage and all that, but the thing is, trips with Kenshi when you're in Sento stance and Sento is gone, right? Mm. The Sub Zero cameo doesn't give you anything. On the other hand, the Scorpion and the Cyrix cameo give you so much. They give you combo from the overhead. They give you resummon combos. It is so good. Hey, interesting approach, definitely. In the meantime, here Lelo striking again right now, trying to do it all on his own. Wait, but what? What? did he just hit behind him? My man did the COD 360 no scope MLG. Man, hit I was right about there. to say, Abel, we can get that YouTube short edit out right now. Yeah. Put me all the way back to Modern Warfare 2. I was about to say, this man 360 no scoping his way to victory. As here comes Sith Lord, now has to bring this back for CC. Lalo, how much damage can we squeeze out here? Uh, uh. Yep, Ooh, and that is a trade. a trade. Sith Lord cannot take anymore. Right now, Lelo is looking close to unstoppable. I'm sorry to say it like that, but this Melina, boy, oh boy. And this is only the beginning chat. We are literally just getting started. I see close to 400 people in the crowd already. 2v2 qualifier number four running right now. And after this, Hourglass and Sparks versus Soset and Rinsla. This is going to be good. This sounds like a lot of fun. Warchild, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great one, my friend. Sith Lord, now down to the last life, Evil. Oh yeah, down to the last life. There is no loser bracket, so if you lose this, you are out. Shoutouts, by the way, to CC, who is streaming her run as well on Twitch right now. But there is the opening. Gets the Sub-Zero Freeze. This is pretty good looking. Goes for just the standing for into the sandwich. Center coming in. Nice breaker. Wanna know my approach right now to the situation rips? Oh my Tell god, me. never mind. He just did it correctly right there. I would have said get out of Sento as fast as you can. But my man just moved the, did the best thing he could. But Lelo, there is oh, able oh. hard to blockables and Sith Lord doesn't even know what's happening. Oh yeah, and there is another one rips. Gets hit by the overhead. Nice breaker. Still believe. 
Oh, this is close, chat. This is more than close. Random Ooh. ball roll. Get grabbed over here. Will this kill? Oh Not my yet. god, it's so Not close. Yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Monk Lizzie is on downpoke, is gonna connect, and that's gonna do it. And I see Ray in the chat saying, it's been a hot minute since I was here live, was watching yesterday's stream on YouTube, and got jealous, so here I am. Ray, welcome back to the live arena, and thank you so much for all the beautiful comments over there on YouTube. Oh, there's the opening. Goes for the side switch. Interesting. Doesn't go for the center. There's actually a side switch center combo, but if you don't know it, just don't do it. Oh, I have a little in the blender. That's what Kenshi can do to you. Yeah, but then the, the center two in time. The teleport out. The bus saw. Sento is still in the background. No, he got hit by the bus saw. But he's coming. He's coming. He's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> Has two sticks of butter. But Lelos uh, sitting out on two. I was about to say, has a breaker ready. There's a resummon with the Montclair jacket. The ghost goes down, full string. Comes back in the back row. Nice awareness from Lelo. I like that. Trying to teleport his way to victory, but Sith Lord, this time we are ready. Sandwich. Ooh, should have gone for the armor breaker. But went for the risky overhead. Sent to gone again. Oh, the bow roll. No punish on it. Nice down three. Overhead connects. Forward four. No, Sith bro. Lord. Insane with punish. And they will just like that. Sith Lord is getting something started. We are on the board, aka we take that first life from Lelo. But that means we still need three more W's on Sith Lord's side to somehow make this work and make it to the semifinals today. Should we ask the chat again who's their favorite team, Avil, as always, in the beginning? Sure. What is your favorite team, Avil? Let me boot it up, chat. Drop it in the Twitch chat and in the YouTube comments right now if you haven't watched the final yet. Who is your favorite team? Who do you think is going to win this? What is your call, I gotta go. I gotta go with Kitana Khan because he's been beating my ass all the time in Combat League lately. <laughs> I make a Every rough call. In... Avil, I'm saying our glass and Sparks are going to take this today. That is my call. Let's see who is going to be right. I gotta go with KK. He's beating my ass all the time in Combat League. He's the reason I'm not Elder God still. Every time I get close to it, I just found Tana Kani beats me. Ooh, there's a nice opening. Gets him with the freeze. What is that combo? No connect. Teleport doesn't block in time. Sith Lord. Even this man has a dream. Ooh, wave grab immediate punish. We are quick today. Power Pro, 13%. One more touch from Sith Lord. Getting closer and closer to not getting eliminated. Oh, but, but, Teleport, but, but, wait, wait. Even that's it. We don't have Breaker. This is gonna do it. And Lelo is saying, you know what? I'm gonna let this bad boy rip. I got, I got what you did there. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That means we are on match point once again. Limbo in the chat is saying, gotta go with Southside and Rinsla. I mean, you can never right. go wrong with that team, honestly. But they have been choking, though. They have been choking. They had a lot of chances, Rips. But Ava, do you see I'm your father in the chat? That is actually Hourglass of Rain's dad supporting his son here. Beautiful really? stuff. Big, big shout out. Yep, to all the families out there supporting their kids. Grinding MK. But now, here comes Sith Lord chat. I don't know what that father beats his son because he's way too good in this game. <laughs> that is true. Ooh, we just finished the string here with Losai. What? He did the drill? No, Lelo. Lelo. Oh, I think Lelo expected the throw here. Beautiful check. We secure some plus frames if it gets blocked. Ooh, I had him with the forward to two. Didn't believe though. But Sith Lord playing it so good right now. Forward throw. This man is throwing a lot. I mean, 13%. That's a big stack. Let's block on the overhead. 
Ooh, the Boro was blocked, but also the Buster was blocked, but he didn't believe again getting the punish. Back too! <laughs> and Sith Lord, this man is not giving up down to his last life. Ron Adams, thank you so much, brother, for another gifted sub here in the chat. Absolute mad lad. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the generosity oh, today. He did the dirty setup right there. Sento's still out. Tries to hit him, but was too quick. Now he hits him. Sento's out. The forward four plus frames down one. Nothing you can do there. Ava. That means Lelo is defeated. Okay. Sith Lord, he is slowly crawling his way back into this. This man is really trying to do it all on his own right now. And I am impressed because that Kenshi... I feel like I gotta say it. It's looking better than yours. My Kenshi lately has been looking so ass ripped. I don't <laughs> even want to talk about it. I've been, I've been, I've been lacking, I'll tell you. Oh, can we get some AOs in the chat? Are you here with us, everyone? Welcome to the arena. So, the hell Pino. is happening right now? Leto, you gotta leave the lobby. <laughs> Gia saying that's a zero from me. Let's find out. Pino for the very, very first time in the arena, Evil. What is the character? Do I see Reptile? What is that Reptile skin? I'm seeing that literally for the first time. I think those are the zombie skins from last season. Okay, Pino, show us what that reptile is made of. Anastasia, I see you in the chat over there. Welcome. Reptile Sub Zero. Striker. The Great Hall. There were safer ways to create that diversion. So let's give a warm welcome here to Pino playing his first arena set. Round one, fight. Yeah, Pino walking with the striker reptile. Yes, the sir. safe option to play uh, reptile, actually. Oh, so we can go do Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Crocodile down too, as well. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, yo, bro, Pino is going in. Oh yeah, I mean he's playing Striker Reptile Rips. You're gonna see some crazy unsafe things into Striker just because he can. Oh shit, wait a minute. Pino is a freaking rushdown monster. It is so much different to when you see a Reptile play with Scorpion because they play so slow and safely. But when you see a Reptile Striker Rips, buckle up because they go crazy. What the hell is this combo here from Sith Lord? And a big mistake. Pino a little bit too confident. Puts himself into the corner, just giving his opponent a chance. He's like, come on, dude. If Sith Lord brings this back, this would be one of the craziest comebacks we have seen in these 2v2 so far. Wait, draw someone this? in the face? My man got an input arrow, not like this. <gasps> no, where's the punish? He didn't believe. Gets the opening again. There's the breaker. Oh, no stick of butter and center about to go away. This is looking rough. Back throw into the corner. Forward 4, plus 1. There's a down 1 to check him spamming. Uh, mashing, I mean. They're running the dirt. Very, very good blocks from Sith Lord. I like the patience. This box again. I don't understand why we all blocked that second hit from the Reptile String over at Rift. It's a bit. We've punished City. Oh, he should have gone for the Rift. He should have gone for the Sub Zero Freeze. Forward, bro. 15% left. There is a monk clear jacket. Yep. Overhead connects. Open fed. No, it's with punish. He didn't get it in time. This is looking rough. What a backdash. Again, gets him with the sweep. Both just out of striking distance. Don't get really a whiff punish in. Maybe I don't understand what's going on here. Sith Lord, what are you doing to us? Ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there in the chat who thought, you know, we can have a relaxed, laid-back tournament today. Every single one of you is wrong. I want to see the entire chat being flooded real quick. We start with a freaking final round in match number one. And I hope you guys know how we roll over here. It's gonna get hot, Avil. It is gonna get extra loud. So everyone who's here for the first time, 
better lower that volume a little bit because we're gonna go crazy let's have an arena party in here thank you guys so much for watching spending time with us and of course for supporting the players at the same time Abel, are you ready for the magic button as you know i'm always ready for the button i'm pressing it baby here we go And Sith Lord, right now, CC sitting over there in the backpack. Oh man, also has something else in his backpack, and it's called Centaurus. <laughs> or is it Centu having both of them in the backpack? I think more like that, Rips. Centu having CC and Sith Lord in the back right now because it's looking juicy. This man really bringing it back all the way. I think no one expected this. While having the worst trip in <laughs> arena history. And of course, Fabs is raiding us while we... Fabs, I don't even want to read it in the chat. I don't even want to read it. Of course, Kenshi's on screen and Fabs somehow makes it to the arena live chat. Buff Kenshi. Over it blocked. But Fabs, just a reminder for you. Sith Lord, this man is working on the reversal 4-0 right now. And it looks like he's gonna get it, Avil. Nice breaker from Sith Lord. Oh, block the running lizard. Didn't believe though. There is the opening. Don't drop it and he can kill Rips. No, he goes and go for the ender. There's just a sweep and Rips. I don't know what to say, but this is final, final everything. Yes, sir. And I am so nervous. I'm already sweating here, chat. I'm getting too old for this. Big whiff. Try to whiff punish with it overhead. Crocodile Dundee. Oh, what? Buff Reptile. Buff Reptile, big time! I've never seen in my life the Running Lizard whip, but that looks looking rough right now for Sith Lord. Nice block on the overhead. No, there was no whip punish! She could have won right there! But Sith Lord gets away with robbery! Doesn't believe in his jump in though. There's a Running Lizard, looking rough. He needs one touch though, Rips. We both know this is the one touch character. Punish! Breaker was ready, Sith Lord. And it is a little heartbreak. If he would lose here after putting in so much work trying to bring this back. But that's the life Good of the competitive MK player. Down to chip out. There it is, Abel. We're invisible and this match is over. Pino made it. And Sith Lord, I'm heartbroken. That was such a phenomenal comeback. Reptile. But Evil, how is the saying? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Or in yeah, your case, you know, lose. you always lose because you're ass in yeah. the game. But... Yeah, I was about to say the same. <laughs> <laughs> but Jane in the chat, thank you so much for the five gifted subs here. In the beginning, first match in the books, the community is going crazy. But chat, I don't think that you guys out there are ready for what's about to happen next. I'm even afraid to show that lineup here. One of the blockbuster sets in round number one is about to happen. Our Glass of Rain and Sparks versus Soulset and Rinsla. All eyes on these two teams right now. And I can't even wait for the chat prediction, Abel. Who is your favorite team in this particular fight? I gotta go with my NA boys this time. You know, Soulset and Rinsla are the homies, but. Our glass of rain and sparks, in my opinion, the lame team, because <laughs> sparks is in that team. No, but you know what? This is a 1v2 because it's our glass of rain versus soul <laughs> and rich stuff. Sparks is not even in the team. Hey, but that is that is evil what you're saying right here. Let's see. Our glass of rain, known as one of the best Melina players over there in NA. I would actually say in the entire world right now. But never underestimate the power of Soulset and Rinsla. These guys are hungry, competing for the fourth time. Maybe they can make it happen today. And while these invites are flying out, once again, a big, big thank you here to Jane for the five gifted subs and so many more. Thank you for keeping this entire thing going. Hope you guys enjoy the show so far. And chat prediction, 69%. On Soulset and Rinsler. This is literally a region match 
EU versus NA. Who is superior? And boy, oh boy, we are starting Sparks versus Rinsler. Goro. The Gateway. No Earth Realm woman can fight like an Umgadi. Mad and bold. Raiden's sister, and oh those God, are rips. just the women I know. <laughs> and Abel, do I'm, I see I'm that correctly? What do you think? Fight. What are you talking about, Abel? Tanya versus Kung Lao. That is, that is an interesting matchup. And Abel, I'm slowly getting woke. I really think people slept on Tanya in the first months of the game. This character is oh, yeah. insane. This character, rips. she has no real downside. <laughs> Has maybe one bad matchup in this game that might be Johnny because he's the only one who can parry that, fall, uh, that stupid string. But other than that, she is so good. Has a lot of damage. Has insane synergy with the Goro. I hate that character. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> An old glass of rain cheering for his teammate here. And Spark starting very, very strong. Rinsler looking a little bit overwhelmed in round number one. Any character gets a combo from his. Armor is stupid, let's be honest. Look at this. One armor into 30%? Disgusting. Yo, kicking his way to victory. Buffing up. Oh my god, the damage was too low. It's just insane. Two touches, sparks right there. Final round, fight. You see how you see how Rinsa just gave a little toe kick to Goro right there. <laughs> yes, that's right. So disrespectful. <laughs> yep, Rinsa just said, "You know what, Goro, get the hell out of here." It was like my Goro is the real Goro. You're a fake ass. But yeah, beautiful combo, thirty-six percent. And it's not only a beautiful combo, Abel. I see the beautiful Holly over there in the chat as well. Did he just no? He dropped it. At least that. Nice with punish. Uh, oh, Sparks, that was clean, and that is exactly what he needed. Rinsler, can he get break? Oh my god, this is it, Rips. This is gonna be a chip out right there with the poke into special. Nothing Rinsler could have done right there. And Sparks taking the first round. Yes. Sparks looking like the Grim Reaper of this tournament. Who can armor more? Sparks or Rinsler? <laughs> Do you think we're going to see the switch, Abel? Baraka potentially from Rinsler? No chance, no. If you would switch, no chance you would switch to Bar uh, Baraka when he plays with his Tanya. Let's see, let's see. Rinsler is a demon, bro. Okay, you're right. No, he would have lost if he switched to Baraka. I think Baraka, there's nothing. I think Baraka um, Striker doesn't even work with this Tanya because she just uh, pushes you so far that the grenades don't hit from Striker. Oh, okay. Fight. He just hit Goro again. Rinsler is saying, this is my tourney. There's the armor. There's another Goro. I don't know who is the fake one, but right now, 20% on board. There's the overhead. Nice block, though. I like the strike throw from, from Sparks now. Yeah, that's a punish. That is really unsafe right there from Rinsler. Look at Sparks how defensively he plays because he knows that armor can come from any time. But this out. is an opening. This is it, Rips. Oh, it does go for a cash out. Oh, that's an armor breaker. Nothing you can do there. Gets hit by the low. Very, very smart from Rinsler to go for that particular meaty. Fight. You know what the worst part about that button is, Rips? It's zero on block. It is, yes, it is safe. My god, so many helicopters right now from Sparks, but there's a jump in, doesn't get it in time though. That woman in the background just chilling and watching, what the hell? <laughs> Two people beating themselves to death and she's just chilling there. There's a Goro, keep it safe. Nice job on the armor! Wow, Sparks with the 500 IQ play right there. Ooh, but Rinsler shows violence on Wake Up. Overhead, they're on. MK11 says hello. I have flashbacks to Sub-Zero. 
How much damage is it? Is it gonna be enough versus a 950 HP character? I think it's 40%. I think Sparks might be still alive. Nope. Nope. Yeah, 40%. Finish. And Rinsler is tying this entire thing up. 1-1. One, one. Down to the wire here in this first matchup. And I like the chat rips. You know that overhead from Kung Lao? Yeah. When people want to nerf something, right? They nerf it to the ground. Not that, not that they say make it a mid or something. No, they said make it a high. <laughs> so you can duck it. I don't need your help to defend the Empress. If Reiko revives Onaga, you will need more than just mine. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Okay, chat. Let's go. Final round for both of the players. One of them will be eliminated after this round. Who do you have your boat on? Oh, it, it is rough. I honestly think Sparks and Rain very, very strong team, but so is Sauset and Rinsler. Um, even looking this first match here, this one is going to come down to the wire able. I'm pretty sure we see final rounds. The question is, though, are Sparks and Rain, are, are they ready for Sauset's Garrus? Because if you're not ready for it, you're getting steamrolled. Nice armor, there comes a goal to make it safe. Punches him again, oh my god, ah! Rinsa really has a problem with that guy. Nice anti from Sparks, I like that. This is gonna do it. Level well, how is it possible that we are chilling with 560 people here? And we basically just started half an hour ago. People have nothing to do, I guess. <laughs> do you think there's nothing better on Twitch right now? Yeah. Goro coming in, beat him his ass up. I like that. Oh, there's that a kick. Doesn't have to fight though. Oh, there is a dirty armor though. Back throw, 11%. Puts two sticks in his back. The poke special all the time. And again, wake up over wake up from both players. And then this is it, Rips. Goro coming in again to help him out with the combo. And this is gonna be it. Helicopter his way to the victory. And Sparks takes down the first player, but he had to fight for it. And that means we officially unlocked Soulset. Now the final boss comes in. <laughs> I mean, Garrus looks like a final boss. The question is, is Soulset gonna bring Garrus? 90% um, of the matchups he brings Shao, but versus Tanya, honestly, I'm not sure. Garrus yeah. might be the way here. I don't know, Rips, because the problem is right here. If he goes Garrus, he's going to play. He needs to make so good reads. The problem is uh, Tanya. Uh, I mean, the problem is Garrus has a lot of flawless block, uh, um, a lot of armor gaps. That's what I wanted to say. And Tanya, of course. If you ask me, Avil, I still think Garrus is the better choice versus Tanya than Shao. Kang says I'm different in this I think, timeline. I mean, it's hard to say because Garrus doesn't really do good, in my opinion, as well versus Tanya. All those armor gaps he has, it's going to be a downfall for him. But let's see, though. Let's see. What the hell am I watching? What is this outfit? She looks like a lollipop. <laughs> so, so said Garrus sector combination. You don't choose. But right now we see Sparks playing exactly about that dead zone from Gears. That's how Fabs called it. Basically, that distance where Gears can't really do anything. Oh yeah. Where is forward two? Like see, as long as th exactly that. But here forward. now, so said we're slowly getting started. So said, of course, make sure that those combos are at forty-two percent. Ooh, nice duck right there. There's the armor. Goro makes the plus, of course. Oh, it blocked. The dead foe to just with. Oh my god. Nice block, but the Goro to keep him safe. But this is looking rough. The flamethrower to keep him safe, though. We have the. Oh, the time Land stop. Up. Oh, the went the low. Yep, Sparks, you guessed wrong, and you have to pay the price for it. The dirty mix right there. Spends the two bar. 
I would call it a hard to block bull. If, if, if you want to call it this mix up, I don't care. Sniper King or Sosa. Jesus, that did so much damage. Yep, that is close to 50. Your time is nearly up. Round two, fight. And shout out Bob, one of Sosa's big, big fans here in the chat. And I can understand why. This gear is out of this world. Time freeze. What's the damage? Oh, he's the reset. 39% restand. That is a dirty combo. Imagine he would do that in the corner. Gee. There's a little propeller bottom kick. I don't know what you call it. Oh, so sad. This man is here to play chat. Sparks. Completely oh, overwhelmed right now. Gear is pressure. 4 mm -hmm. 3 And that is going to do it. This entire match is tied up again. Our glass of rain versus Soset is gonna be the final showdown. Soset is way better than I thought in this matchup. Let's take a look at that chat prediction. Okay, here it is. It is pretty close, but slight advantage. So said and Rinsler, 57% of the community, at least here in the live audience, believes in them. Ah, yes. Sparks is an old man, even though he is one of the youngest competitors in this arena. Sparks is... Yep, that is right. But now he left the lobby, and that means the final showdown is about to begin. Thank you guys so much for being here. And of course, a big shout out to my boy Avil, blessing us on the mic again. It's been a while, Avil. I think more than a week, right? Since we had you on the last time? Yeah, I think... Uh, I think a week, yeah. Seven days. Temple of Kataravala. So now the real match starts. We have our glass of rain, <laughs> the only team player. Before that, we had a bot on very hard. Rinsta unfortunately didn't make the right reads versus that bot. But right now, the final boss rain playing versus the final boss soul set. Well, let's see though. There's a little second. Did he just uh, block it? Of course. I mean, Abel, we're talking about our glass of rain here. That projectile is a mid rift. Well, how can you up block it? I have no idea. Oh my stupid. Maybe it's nice because it dropped from the sky, Abel? Who knows? Yeah, no, that would be NRS logic right there if something. Oh, and again, the rocket interrupting. Hmm, I like, I like the combo there. Full string. I think that's plus. I have no idea. I only know that Melina players like to press afterwards. And Abel Sparks letting us know Sector Missile becomes zero when uplocked. What zero? On block. Frame data. It's an ambush. Yeah, but but it still has frame data. What are you talking about? If you block it, yeah, but if you upload it, you're basically zero. That's what Sparks is saying. Yeah, but you're still blocking, so it's not. Oh, like of course, zero. you know what I mean, Rips. But right now, our glass of rain, the only thing matters right now. He has the life lead and so set in trouble. That was a mm. phenomenal whiff punish. The reaction time. Young man reactions. If I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm your father. Hourglass of Rain, 17 years old, right? Yeah, that's And young. there you see, Avil. Yep, there is the reaction time. We can't keep up with that anymore. I was 17 rips when MK11 came out. I'm not even gonna talk about what came out when I was 17. Didn't the Nintendo just release their first console? I hate you, Avil. Shut up. Okay, someone ban Froggy in the chat right now. <laughs> but no soul set. One life, and that's when he becomes extra dangerous, chat.
Oh my god, one in the chat said Tetris rips. I'm not the... I mean, you see, I said, at least I said Nintendo. This guy was the rip. went straight into Tetris. <laughs> and Duo decided to spend his first time message here saying electricity came out. Duo, first of all, welcome to the arena. Second of all, I hate you. Round one. Let's get back to the match. So set, one life. You know who needs some electricity as well? So sad right now because he needs to get himself started because Hourglass of Rain looking really good in that first round. Gias is saying Rips like the light bulb so much he made it a haircut. Gias, I'm actually gonna <laughs> ban you from all future tournaments. Oh no. No punish on the up projectile there. Oh that, that was unfortunate right there from So Sad. That's gonna hurt right there. Sniper. Uh, he, our glass of rain not leaving any damage on the board. Holy, with the gift Ooh. itself, thank you so much. But our glass of rain once again, live lead secured, ship out territory, and we are on elimination point. Round two, fight. I was excited when they dropped the telegraph. I'm not even gonna no. read the chat anymore. I'm just gonna chill with the YouTube community. At least these guys are nice. No, oh, the YouTube community always roasts me. I like the Twitch community, bro. I'm joking. What was that? Input error from Solset right there. There's the low bus saw head. But Solset needs so much. What a micro duck. There is a time reversal. Sector coming in. Oh, what a whip punish. Did you see the backlash? That Our was so sweaty from rain. Our Glass of Rain. That man must have been a Fujiman in his past life. So sad, nice oh tech. man, I don't know if it's possible to bring this back. Low, Balsaw Brood, and that means so what sad and Rinsler's journey <laughs> is over, Abel. Brutality. The hell Kung Lao just did there? I don't care, our guys of rain, and of course, the other guy just beat the favorites for some people. GG, Soulset and Rinsler, thank you so much for competing. No, the connection is rough on both ends here. But that means the first half of round number one officially has come to an end. Now let's take a look at this lower bracket. Evil, do you want to introduce the next two teams? Kitana Khan and Axtar? I have the feeling we're going to get a lot of zoning in this next match. All right. For the next set, we have Baylight. Teaming up with Snow, did a great performance yesterday, I hope. That is right, yes. And of course, we have the beloved Rips, the YouTube favorite. I mean, people tell me often in DMs how much they love, <coughs> hate, love <laughs> them. Seeing them on screen, we have Kitana Khan, and of course we have Xstar. Who thought Reiko was not top tier enough that he switched to Raiden. I said it! Invites are out, Rips. It's oh. gonna be interesting. Let's have a look, chat. Chat prediction is up. A big, big thank you to Regina blessing us with that here. And the players are joining. But I gotta say, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of these 2v2 tournaments. I, I like the format in general, even though it's a little bit complicated to run and of course takes a little bit longer. But generally speaking, I always think if we would get a true 2v2 mode in MK, like, where we basically can, switch, uh, can pick two full main characters and switch between them like cameos with two players in a team, that would be so crazy. I mean... I know some people in the Reddit community are like uh, rubbing their hands together because people found interesting things in the PC version of this yes. game that indicates that it is that what you just said is possible, right? But we still don't know if it will come to the game. I mean, NRS, they're always tinker around with a lot of things that it will not show uh, in the final game, but yeah. <laughs> It might be a possibility. As if you could have one like me. So Kitana Khan starting on Sindel today. No Kitana. And Baylight, we're going top tier Johnny. Even though I've seen a few tier lists over there on Twitter, Abel not even having Johnny in top 10 surprised me a lot. The downplay on this character <laughs> is incredible, Ribs. Oh no, my, my, my bus head is not plus two anymore. Johnny is unviable. 
I don't get those people. Really. A very interesting combination. Baylight decides to rock the Motaro cameo just to have some counter zoning, or basically the reflect in neutral. Yeah, but I don't think Motaro is the way you should go with Johnny. I think Striker is actually the way, just like Kitana Khan is doing right now. And by the way, I just saw that. Xephra, thank you so much for the resubscription, my friend. Saying, hope you're doing well. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support. Nice take on hand, me, young man. Up block. What an up block. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of damage. Kitana Khan knows his routes, knows his optimals, and this is gonna hurt. Striker coming in for her assist. Let's see. There he is. Ooh, hits the car. Uh, hits the Motaro, and I think Rips is all she wrote. He got a break there, but the Motaro got hit. He's still in hits, and finally the breaker comes out. This was looking rough, but the over edges with the striker in the background as well. It was a speed run. Kidalikan trying to make this nice and quick. Sindel wins. <laughs> Bailey down to one. Oh no, Snow didn't go AFK. No, Snow, he, he's like, you know what? Baylight, I'm gonna do this real quick. But of course, his teammate still has one life. But now, I gotta have an honest discussion. I mean, I, I know a lot of good players are in the chat right now. A lot of good players are in the chat right now. I want to know their opinion, Rips, because I have a personal hate versus one of those characters on screen right now. I'm talking about Sindel. That character, Rips, in my opinion, has everything. Zoning, damage, insane buttons, good frame data. Yeah, but, it's but synergized we can, with so many cameos. We can say that about a lot of characters, in my opinion. Look at Raiden. Sindel is just so crazy, Rips. I think I think the best character in this game is 100% Raiden, Rips. I think but so, Sindel? Yes. Raiden is top one. Yeah, Raiden is top one. I mean, this character has like one downside or like two bad matchups and that's it. That's really good for a character. But Sindel? Oh my god, I think she's like the second best character in this game. Almost no bad matchups, does so good. Insane zoning, chip oh, and damage. Oh, and getting shimmied out of his underwear. The yeah, damage is also amazing. Ooh, we are disrespecting plus 13 on block. Yeah, this is really not good for Kitana Khan. Gotta respect the frame data. Oh, gets it by the striker. The dirty. This is beneath me. Round two, fight. <laughs> Yo, the range! That was a half-screen attack! Damn. That split? Whew! Abel, focus. I'm focusing! You're focusing on the wrong things, Abel. Focusing on two big things right now, Rips. <laughs> I need a new commentator chat. Someone help me out. Uh, all of them are dead. How many as I am, Rips? No chance. Anyways, there's the over. There's a striker to safety this. I mean, Baylight, you did a great show right there, but I think your boy Snow gotta step in because that Sindel looks unstoppable right now. Sindel wins. Kitana Khan looking as strong as always. And that means it is time for Snow. Another Melina on the menu. Oh yeah, it's uh, Forever King, he needs to leave. Melina Zindel, Kung Lao Striker, Hanging Gardens. Keep the Edelian clash the here in the arena Rely today. On her council. I will. Mother Risen's daughter. Then I can't in his mind thinking right now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna slap you, my daughter. 
I honestly like the way Kitana can plays this spacing game in neutral versus a lot of characters. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's also like one of the biggest strengths Sindel has, right? That insane, I don't know what button it is, I think forward one where she like whips around and hits you with her hair. That button rips, that is so good. Allows you to play neutral so good. This one right here. What a nice breaker right there. Beautiful ball roll, by the way, from Snow. But you gotta watch out versus Snow because that man loves his random ball rolls. I mean, Snow had a phenomenal performance over there at UFA as well. Oh yeah, and this is an opening you cannot do anything about. Hard to blockable. Gotta guess right, fight. didn't guess right. Kanakan got hit right there. Overhead. Oh! Smart. Yep, perfect way to get out of it. And I know who's gonna switch cameo after this round if he loses the round. Gets hit by the overhead though. There is a restand. Ooh, low projectile. Nice forward throw. Striker coming in with the assist, 11%. Now it's getting interesting. Ooh, the nades with, but didn't look at him. Went oh, and just the Snow right just there. decided to press. It was the right call. What? What is that ender? The buster coming in? The striker? What the hell is happening? Does he get breaker in time? Kitanaka not going for the fatal blow, and he breaks. I don't know if that was smart, Abel. Okay, oh. it was. Kitana Khan making the right decision. Unholy, thank you so much for the third month's resub. And once again, I cannot tell you guys how much that helps keeping this entire thing going. Thank you so much for, yeah, spending your prime subs or, generally speaking, subscribing here to this channel and supporting the entire thing. Look at Kitana Khan trying to whip punish the cameo right now. It's also one thing that we don't talk about, but uh, off the rips. Sindel can legit hit your cameo. Of course, yes. That is so unfair. <laughs> oh, tries to whiff punish, but got the block in time. Snow right now wants that one big whiff punish. Has two sticks of butter. He knows he can do a lot of damage right now. Nice jump store from Kitana Khan. Then the float again. Oh, big whiff punish, but the striker with the assist. There's a back throw. Tries to shimmy it. Nice block on the projectile. Ooh, Kitana Khan, oh, but drops, drops the pickup. It. But got lucky with the string ender right there because that would have hurt from Snow. What the hell is happening? Doesn't try to up block right there. Oh, it's looking rough. Kitana Khan. Nice defense. Right into the brute. Snow down to his last life. Kitana Khan looking so strong today. Hasn't lost a single match so far. And Tapo, I see you over there in the chat. Thank you so much for the resub. Let's take a look what's on our menu next, Avil. Oh, the two brothers, the Sergeant Takinada versus Evil Carnage and Pulan. The Shokan and Centaurians have resumed skirmishing. Send me, mother. I'll end their dispute. Round one, fight. Yeah, getting into potential in last round right now, Kitana Khan with that Sindel. Doing a great job. Buffed up his striker so it comes back faster. Ooh, tries to punish the Kung Lao, but yeah. Was a read. Didn't work out. Nice opening. Spends the bar. You know what that means, Rips? This is gonna hurt! 38% oh. into auto blockable, and he gets it! <laughs> Let's go for another right! Hard to blockable. No, goes for the ender right there. It believes. Boss saw the teleport. Nice jump from Kitana Kando. There is the split. There is a strike grenades. Blocks. Doesn't block the overhead though. Overhead again. Snow. Wait. Snow, he, he needs one little touch able. That would be enough. And there it yeah. is, the teleport. There was nothing Kitana Khan could have done there. Because even if he blocked the drips, wouldn't matter. Because a chip out would have killed him. 
Oh, does he confirm? He does! Spends the bar for the combo. 39%. Oh, drops the ender though. Too much gravity on that combo. Oh, and the one two doesn't believe though. No hit confirm. Overheads after overheads after overheads. My man is playing a mix up character right now. Nice. Nice block on the overhead. Oh, that what a micro was filthy. Plus. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, he can just do that, Rips, because he has the striker in his back. It's both of them, but yeah, there's a down one. Don't even need to block. That was chip out, but rips. Kitana Khan on his steamroll, about to take it flawless. But slow. That is a very, very impressive match. He just ducked the projector that just straight up hit it. Gets hit by the overhead, Kung Lao still in recovery because he got hit by the Sindel special and now in the corner. It's looking rough. <laughs> Up block! Huge right now from Snow. Don't drop the combo. Don't drop the hard to blockable. This is a lot of damage. The Sour. Snow. And he gets it. This Snow. is it, Rips. He doesn't get bar in time. Uh, he just <laughs> shot him to the moon. <laughs> that down two was disgusting. Melina wins. So Kitana Khan showing us that even gods can bleed here in the arena today. Losing that first life, Snow on a mission. <laughs> That attack is saying, damn, that thou two threw Sindel off the map, Smash Bros style. That is right when you have that 250%. This body is my future. Look at me. We will find a cure. Why do I think in my head when Rips, if Rips would play Super Smash Bros, why in my head I just know you're gonna play the crocodile with the gun? Yo, that is actually, that is actually the character I play, Avil. What is the name again? Yeah. I, I only no played idea. Super Smash a few times uh, when I was drunk, chat. I gotta be honest here. But that is exactly the uh, Cro King Crocodile, or what is the what is the name, chat? King, King Croc? Croc? I think so. Yeah, King, King, Croc? King Croc. Yeah, that's uh, uh, King K. King Rool. K. Yeah, that, that is actually yeah, the character I play. Yeah, <laughs> the dude is hilarious as shit. Yeah. Suck the people up and just throw them off the bed. Yes, that's sir. Oh, that was oh, insane. Moral. By the way, Kitana can't switch into the Kung Lao, so they're hard to blockable setups right now. Oh, nice with punish. Goes for the meterless launcher. Gets the restand. Oh, it's all meterless, by the way. Must we renew Round two, fight. Oh, I, what? I like the decision making from Snow. He, he has that feeling, Abel, when to press. And Vargas saying, what platform is this? It is PlayStation 5. Um, the 2v2 series right now exclusive to PlayStation. Because the PC invite system, I, I would lose my shit here, trying to host that. <laughs> oh, Riffs, wait for February. Then PlayStation also gets that invite system. You know what, Abel? If, if we get crossplay, I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> Who knows, maybe in February we finally get the game out of the beta. Who knows, Rips, who knows? But right now, Tana Khan is looking really, really good on taking this, but Snow not giving up. As I said it, commentator curse gets it. Kitana Khan spending all his bars, two sticks already gone. What is this combo? What is this damage? Oh, no, Excuse me. Oh, blocks the low. Now oh, gets him with the mash. No, no firm. No flawless block plus frames. Nice block, flawless block, had the punish, didn't believe. Oh, it, what is that? But longest no poke on earth. Is gonna do it. Kitana Khan, X star, not even needed. Yeah, GG's. Man, that was a great set. I gotta say, a phenomenal performance from Baylight and Snow today.
But unfortunately, their journey is over. Taking us to the last set here in round number one chat. Let's take a look at it together. Taki and Desardit decided to join us today as one team versus Evil Carnage and Pulan, who were the big, big surprise team yesterday, Evil, making it to the grand finals. But they gotta go up it versus the Demon Brothers. That is true. So invites are flying out. I'm, I'm quite curious about the chat prediction in this one. What I can promise is we're most likely going to see some Baraka action today. And once again, for everyone watching on YouTube, Desarded and Takinada, as mentioned, they are brothers. So they're going to play on one account. But most likely they're going to let us know who's going to play first. Or even though we, we can tell it by the gameplay, Abel. If it's a good player, it's Taki. If it's a bad player, it's Desarded. It, it's actually oh, yeah. that easy. Yeah. It, if, the guy make, if the guy drops combos, it's Desarded. <laughs> Yeah, disordered, you're getting old as well, my friend. The Rucker Brothers, I like that. <laughs> Regina, <laughs> shout out to you for the prediction. 83% on this attack. went from the Sub Brothers to the Rucker Brothers. But Abel, that... That was exactly the prediction we had yesterday. No one believed in Evil Carnage and Pulan, and these guys, they eliminated so many teams. I think Rinsler and Soset got eliminated by Evil Carnage and Pulan, and Mirko and Kaizen as well. Oh, wow. That is impressive. But chat, the match is starting, and we get Desardit versus Pulan first. And Baraka. I see Quan Chi. Does Don't he play Quan? No! I, will, I was so happy as well when no! I saw Quan Chi in the character select. I was so happy. I had hope for just a split second. You know, playing versus Quan Chi is like the worst feeling ever because you have no idea what the character does, but watching him is the coolest thing ever. All right, so who is who? Desardit is the guy who has ketchup on his face. Please don't demonetize us, YouTube. And Pulan is the one with the cool Elder God outfit, I would say. Looks pretty dope. Nice back throw. Wait, Pulan is playing Baraka Kano? What sorcery did I miss? Man, this it right now, losing a lot of life. Pulan! That was a no evil. That con conversion is not allowed. Oh my god, I know this artist is losing his shit right now. Round two. Fight. What a duck. Wait, that projector doesn't become a mid when you amplify it? Huh, Baraka? <laughs> Why would you ever amplify it? Vark, the thing is, Disarted and Takinada, they are literally traveling to offlines together. They've been on stream yeah. and they even stream on Twitch. You can literally see both of them in the same room. You can basically, uh, you can see that it's, it's the start of playing because he's dropping a lot of things. No one knows Final round, fight. Yo, Penny, I see you in the chat. Welcome, my friend. Been a long time. Nice to see you back. Hope everyone is having a blast so far. Thank you so much for being here. Close to 600 people in this dojo. Even though Avil is on the mic. I'm surprised. What? Wow. 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 I'm going to shut Abel. the fuck up. No. <laughs> F you. But Pulan, I would have said, what a beautiful combo, but nope. It was a trash combo. <laughs> Gets himself into the corner, though. Kano's up, though. Another throw. Tracking, I mean, disarded. Just throwing and throwing and throwing right now. Mm. Flashlight so him. So many of them. Not... Oh, and Pulan is saying, you know what? You don't want that combo, then I'm going to do it. Throws the knives, nice block on the Albert, minus seven. The started, of course, taking his turn. Duh, tries to down two. What the hell is happening? The started bringing all the gimmicks right now. Get good at the game because this is fades and low. GG, shake my head. I know Takinada is bad. Takinada is like, why did I team up with my brother? But Pulan taking that first round. Wins. 
Oh, that's a heartbreaker, Rips. Ooh, I see my boy Linko in the chat. Linko, let me show you the bracket real quick. It's a spicy one today, I promise. 2v2 action, tag team combat. Here are the players. Is that the name of the format, Rips? I, I just like to call it Tag Team Combat, I, I, I like the name. Yeah, I like it. We should make it the name, though. Tag Team Combat. It's dope. Tag Team Combat. <laughs> so, TTK. That is a good one. Welcome to TTK. Speaking of TTK, I know that the started is... <laughs> Biting on his teeth right now because that Baraka from Pulan is looking spicy. It is. Pulan very, very strong. One of our most slept on players, in my opinion. This dude is cheering it up since the first days of MK1. I mean, he's putting in the work, he's putting in the grind, he deserves to be on top. Ooh, Big Baba, I see you over there in the chat as well. The entire family is here as always on this beautiful Sunday. Down to get out of my face, Pulan. Takes a chunk of that neck. What a micro duck! Siri in the background, please shut the fuck up! Mm, there is a Kano though. Another pressure. Yo, man, the, well, pff, Kano spinning there like there's no tomorrow. My man is bow rolling all day. What an up block. Wait a second. Decided. Oh, dead she beat again! Well, 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 oh, no, this is work. not gonna do anything. He doesn't have the HP, yes. Round two. Is that the frustration coming out of the Sardot Rips? I don't know, but I mean, this kid, he always... I mean, can we call him kid anymore? I think he's old. This man, he <laughs> always surprised us. Still to this day, one of our most successful players in the arena. That was MK11. And then takes us with a good question, saying, so if their partner loses, do they still have to use the same character? Yes. As long as you are on a win, basically. You are a character and cameo lock. It doesn't matter if the opponent changes, basically, to due to one player being eliminated. You are character locked on a win. And cameo, don't forget it. Yes. We're not... We don't have the... Uh, what is it called? Eastbolt and oh. rescue. But no, Poulan, oh my god! The Mom Poulan copter. Road. That's how Fabs and I called it yesterday, Abel. I think Poulan won four matches with the Poulan copter. And now they started becoming another victim to that. GG's. And that means Desarded now has to pass the controller to the younger generation, so to say. Takinada entering the stage. Imagine Takinada right now, Rips. He's taking the controller from Desarded and he's just like... Dude, why is it so sweaty? Started having sweaty heads playing with Pula. Then there'll be meat for the tribe. Round one, fight. So, Taki. But the thing is, Pulan is so strong in the Baraka mirror. Oh yeah, I mean, in general, he's just so strong yep, with the Baraka. Is, but but especially in the mirror. Yesterday, he, he took down Rinsla as well in the Baraka mirror. He might be one of the best Barakas we have in the arena. And Ray saying, Rips, did your heating get fixed? It actually didn't. I'm still sitting here in the super, super cold room. But able, believe it or not, I'm, I'm slowly getting used to it. I, I have 15 degrees right now. Rips, I told you how I warm myself up. That's even more sad. You yeah, know? you're watching Sindel combo tutorials on YouTube, Abel. And not for the no. combos. What? I could never watch Sindel in my free time. That character is busted. I unfortunately used my hairdryer. Because heating is so expensive here. The flawless one, Pulan. And again, armoring through that offense, which is striker in that case. What the hell is happening right now? For Takinada, you can definitely see. I mean, I don't want to disrespect the Sarah, but he's definitely the better Baraka player of the two brothers right now. 
And he is showing it right now because Pulan is struggling a little bit. But don't but Pulan, count him out. He has the life lead. And again, Pulan, he plays with so much confidence. So much rush down over at good block, Taki. Good. Tries to duck there. That's Taki, it. don't drop it. This is it. And Taki able to take that first life. What do you think this artist is doing right now? Just shield leading in the back? Or maybe preparing some snacks for Taki? Well, he's probably cuddling with his buddy pillow. This artist, do, do something useful, you know? Unload the dishwasher. <laughs> he's his brother, not his wife. Man is like, unload the dishwasher, make some make some food, give him Vacuum some snacks, the floors. massage his eyes. <laughs> yeah, wake up the floor. Give him a solder massage. Groom his hair. And Tiger is saying Rift Arena just needs to hand, hand his head out the window for a bit to warm up his place. It be your own people, Abel. You know, Tigris. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. That even Tigris started to roast me here. But now back to the match we go. Good spacing from Taki and Pulan. Yes, you can definitely see the difference in terms of gameplay. Disar uh, Disar I was about to say now. Nah. Takinada, more, way more defensive and knows where to punish, where to find an opening. Nice ball, but by the way, with the down too. Bro, Taki is cooking. Even his old brother is like, yeah, I'm, you know what? Rips, I take your advice. Disar is not even in this room anymore. He is in the kitchen right now, making some snacks. I what think Takinada tried to flawless block or something. Oh, the sweep just whiffed, but that doesn't matter. The one just still rest right there. Back throw, though. Gets the open. Down two. I, just say, I, I clipped a soundbite on, on Tiger's stream today, and it is literally my favorite soundbite. When Tigris lost on Doom, maybe I could show it after the after this round real quick. Tigris was getting tilted over there, playing Doom. But here, the one who's getting mm. tilted right now is Pulan, officially eliminated. And that means Taki brought it back. 2-2, two, two, everything tiled up. Evil Carnage is gonna be the next opponent. Step aside, little bro. Takinada is not the big bro. Wait a minute. Be quick. I, I can show the soundbite real quick. Wait, here it is, chat. Here it is. Wait, let, let me show it to you. Wait, I think I have it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh shit, it's a little bit too quiet. Wait, here, now. <laughs> it's my new favorite one. Grr, damn it. Tiger is trying to conquer Doom on, I think, the, the highest difficulty or something. And uh, what can I say? Tiger's got clapped. A Laparino. You know, but who, who also got clapped? Takinara clapped Pulan, and now Evil Carnage got to step out to the plate that is and bring down right, that baby. Yep. Omni Man, that is his go to character. And the thing we know for sure is if Evil Carnage managed to win this, we are going to see T backs either. Oh, yeah. This guy is. I mean, his name is Evil. You know he's doing evil things. No confirm, though. Should call himself No Confirm Carnage right there. But right now, let's see, though. Big with Punish. This are I mean, Takinada. Doing a great job. Into the corner. Corner pressure right now. And Gets it by the Stinky Tag. Pro is saying, what do you mean about Ty? Ty is basically the, the nickname I have for Tigris. I, 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 I just always call her Ty. But now back to the match, Avil. 
You know what's also tight? This match right now because the Takinara is doing <laughs> a great job. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, like it, yeah. Cannot just kick a policeman like that in the face, Omni Man. Jump in. Oh, and that, is, that is the way how to play Omni Man, right? Buzzsaw set up basically a free get in tool for that character. And Omni Man's full screen presence, aka counter zoning, one of the best in the entire game, just like that. Yep, you dare throwing a projectile at this man. How to block a ball? Oh, Takinada not watching his dome right there and this is looking rough will he break i don't think so rips just take the l in this round because evil carnage pressing that button on minus seven by the way evil um I, I talked about that yesterday evil carnage only living 30 minutes away from me i could literally run some offline games with him oh that guy is german no 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 from from the netherlands but super super close to where i live and hurt you shit <laughs> But now Taki, very, very close match. Super, super tied up. Both players, one round. Back throw. Let me grab a meteor. Put it out your ass. Oof, what a throw in the fish. That is so dirty. Oh, oh that, that is a punish. punish. Yep. Evil Carnage over committing a little bit. But you gotta watch out though, because Takinada is one touch away. And uh, just like I said, uh, this is gonna be it. Wait, Takinada needs one more touch. But yeah, this is Baraka, the chip out king right here. Nothing you can do right there. And Evil Carnage getting flashlight, getting taste at the end of the round. Takinada on match point. And oh my god, rips. That backpack that kid has on right now is gigantic. <laughs> And this is the last match of round number one. After this, it's already time for the semifinals. You know, only three sets after this single elimination tournament. Otherwise, it would be way too much to stream if we would make a double elimination. Oh, if we would make a double elimination, we would need another host and another co-host. This is right. Evil Carnage down to the last life though, and Takinada hasn't lost a single life since he grabbed that controller out of his disordered hands. Yeah, he's like, give me that hand, you bot. The fact is saying, is the final 2v2 top 8 going to be double elimination? Yes. Man, Rips, imagine you have a brother who also plays the game, right? And every time you play offline versus each other, and you just keep on losing, keep on losing, and that little shit little bro just looks over you with the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> oh my god. I know punches are getting thrown. Oh, that was a nice call out from Evil Carnage. Yeah, but also a nice decision from Taki to jump right there, because if you jump and get hit in the air by the Superman punch, I don't know, whatever you call it, uh, you don't get a combo from it. What are you saying? Is it going to be two or three lives in the grand finals? It's going to be three if I get 50% of the prize pool, because otherwise I'm going to sit here for eight hours hosting a freaking tournament. No, it's most likely going to be two money. Oh, armoring through this bad boy. Taki Nada, this man is confident. What a down to. Yeah, perfect trade. Good awareness. Week. Takinada looking like a machine right now. Oh, and again, nice matchup knowledge on deck. That's always the great thing about having a striker cameo rips because even if they don't go for the thing that has an armor gap, striker comes in and keeps yourself semi safe after doing the armor. That's why he's such a good cameo. Citric is saying, so Rips Arena isn't dedicated enough to run an eight-hour tournament for free. I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, we did those back in the days. What do you mean? But Abel, Takinada. And this is going to be a fatal. Ho, 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 oh, baby. No. This match is over. Round one officially in the books. He stick with up his ass. GG's.
An invite should be out. Always hate to see when somebody stops their tournaments because that not only puts a that only like the finger strips, you know it as well, right? If there is no tournament, there is no place they want to compete, right? And if there is no players, that is bad for us because we uh, we are thriving off those players right, from yeah. them seeing their best uh, and the best possible thing they can show us and new things as well. But if there is no events out uh, out there, for what should they grind then? That is true. Yep. Competitive MK1 in a pretty rough situation. I think Aquaman, Destroyer and me, we talked about it on Twitter as well. We gotta find solutions very, very soon. But that's another topic. Let's take a look at our next match, Avil. Semi-finals, God. match number one. Sector, oh my God, Sparks. What is... I cannot, I, I cannot take I this man serious. What are those outfits, Ribs? <laughs> that looks like a lollipop. You know the little things they give to the tiny kids? They give you like bad teeth and all that kind of things? That's how t uh, Sparks looks right now. Overhead City. Tries to upload, but I think they're jail, so you cannot upload there in time. Gutter is saying three meter runs the Xbox 30. Yeah, but the U is not allowed in this. Basically, all other tournaments are um, NA only. I, I am I am just in shock that there is even an Xbox tournament. Shout out to my Xbox people. We see you in February. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. But so oh, that was 30, but we dropped the pickup. Lello had the win here. And he just mm. ball rolled his way to victory. Round two. Fight. Mm, gets him with the one two. No confirm though. What the hell am I watching right now? I'm just watching a helicopter right now. Be honest, Rips. If you make like, a, if you want to learn how to fly a helicopter, they for sure just show you a video of time. <laughs> and they're like, you see those rotations? That's how a helicopter works. Nice block. Breaker ready. Lello on life support. Oh, that's a punish. Oh no, this could be really bad right now from Sparks. Oh, he needs to make one right read because that sector is coming up again and there is the helicopter move. Sparks not taking any risks there. Staggers for days and we finished the string. Lelo expected the stagger again. Amps it for more damage right there. Sparks going for the setup. Can you confirm that? No, oh, he has no Goro. What? 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 There's a sector. Oh, he gets hit by the overhead. Plus. There's a nice opening though. Oh, this is looking good for Sparks right now, putting him into the corner and he gets over the forward 2-1-1. And I know that Sparks. our glass of rain is happy about that. Sparks taking that first life. How a, how a glass of rain in the background like, I got a teammate. Once again, semi-finals time. Only two remaining matches after this. This is already for a spot in grand finals today. And I see my boy, the pumping gym rat. Our one-man hype train here in the chat. What's up, brother? Pumping gym rat, you're not in the gym anymore. Haven't we fought enough today? Do you wish to be trained well, potentially or he is in the gym right now. Most of the time, Pumping Gym Red watches actually us while he's on the treadmill level. Round one, fight. I was at the gym before the stream. Yeah, well, Pumping Gym could potentially bench press both of us. Oh, that dude is, that dude oh is freaking God. Jack, bro. Yeah. I got 
lost a lot of uh, mess. But now here, Sparks fighting for his life. Good anti air. I like that. Can't get the full conversion. I just came from the Chinese restaurant working my forearms and jaw muscles. <laughs> that is my time of work. That is my type of workout here. Uh, oh, we'll oh I Chinese like what I right see from Lelo. This man is waking up. Not the queen you were expecting. I'm Chinese. Should I, ta should I take you out on a date, Riffs? Some Chinese. Oh, Abel, some good sushi. Oh. But Abel, sushi is just way too expensive for, you know, for a full-time content creator like me. We're starving out here. Yeah. But thanks to everyone who dropped the gifted sub in the chat today, I'm able to to afford some some toast. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, chat. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Because we are not joking, you cannot afford the toast. <laughs> yeah, I'm still out here, Rips. Getting myself some good air, you know? It's it doesn't cost anything, but nobody from Lello right there. There is a helicopter though, Goro coming in with the assist. Low bus off. And the, oh, perfect matchup knowledge from Sparks. He knows exactly how to deal with those situations. Your combat is Final round fight. Gets himself into the corner. Can he get himself out of the corner though? He can because he just puts himself mid screen again. There is a nice confirm breaker though from Lello. Lello needs to watch out because if he loses this round, this is all over and he needs to put all his faith in his teammate Pino. Pino? Pino? Piano? I have no <laughs> idea. There is a back throw though. Sparks live lead available. That's it by the hard to block the ball. There is a forward throw. And now Lelo, oh, Sparks taking the risky, but of course Goro there to make it safe. Block, punish, cash out, GG's. Oh no. First she gets her hand broken, and then you gotta suck the stick. I hate those combinations of Tanya. And that means once again, Pino has to step up that reptile. Now matched versus two of the best players over there from the NA side. Good luck, my friend. How do you call him? Pino? Pino? I just call him Pino, Abel. Little tiny Pino. But we haven't even spoken about the chat prediction. I just realized that. Super one-sided. Quarter million channel points. On Sparks and Hourglass Jesus. in this one. 96%. Yo, I see Robo in ah. the chat as well. What's up, Robo? I was just asking myself what Pino played again, but he plays <coughs> the Raptor, I forgot. Striker. Temple of Kataravala. And Sparks hasn't Are lost a single life so far. If necessary to win. Yeah. Round one, fight. Sparks right now putting in the work, getting himself with his teammate into the grand finals. And there is again the low spinner, whatever you call that move, into the Goro. Rips, that's a full screen 27%. It is, yes. Remember how we complained that Fusion had a full screen back too? <laughs> In this game, every character has a full screen. But Sparks, he doesn't stop the pressure. Hulk special, Goro coming in with the assist. Oh, tries to do a corner combo, but drops it, unfortunately. But Sparks right now looks so unstoppable. No punish! I mean, he got the punish, but didn't believe in the confirm. Overhead, striker with the assist. What the hell is this? Helicoptering his way into the corner, spins himself out of the corner. 
this is all over the place. <laughs> These guys are pressing, Abel. That's the game we play, Rips. Oh, that last break for Pino here, but Sparks. This man looks close to unstoppable. Semi-finals, bro. Yep, that hat is gone, my friend. Pino down to the last life. Sparks, the one-man army in this. I just love how I'm um, your father is just hyping up his team. Of course, that's how no, we like to see it. No, I just hope Sparks and Rain win. Just because I want to see his father <laughs> be proud. <laughs> I'm your father say, so you know what, our glass of rain. If you don't win, there's no more pocket money for you. And he actually dropped the most beautiful message in the chat. That that's a true father right there, saying, I'm proud either way. Either way. An emissary may be asked to fight. If that's the Empress's message, I'll deliver it. Round but now Pino, fight. down to the last life, Avel, versus a Sparks who looks super, super confident in this. Jesus, the helicopter right there. Gets the setup. Sparks looking good. Will he spend the. What do you call it? Even? Yeah, this move right there. The Buddha stance. The Buddha stance? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Buddha buff. I hate you so much. Mm, but Goro coming in, beating up the reptile, and Sparks on match point. Nice block. Striker coming in with the assist. Sparks knows I, it. I think Sparks, he thought about pressing for a minute and then he was yeah. like, no, wait. Striker might be coming in. There is a Buddha buff active. The Buddha teleport as well. Puts himself into the corner. Goro coming in though with the assist. There is the taser though. Unhand me, young man. <laughs> the brown Buddha in the chat is saying, did someone call me? <laughs> oh, Ooh, Sparks jumped jump. right into it. There's a beautiful combo. Goro coming in with the assist. Who drops the combo though? But this is looking rough. Sparks is one touch away. Oh, no confirm. This is hurting right now. Oh, the, the, wait, wait, wait. Commentator's curse. Will he get the comeback of a lifetime? No. No, you have to always respect that wake up. And Sparks doing it all on his own. Welcome to the grand finals, my friends. Sparks and Hourglass of Rain. The first team who made it. Very strong performance, I gotta say that. And that means just like that, we are gonna find out who is gonna be the opponent team for that big clash, which is our grand finals. Coming up next. Desarded and Takinada versus Eggstar and Kitana Khan. Avel, give me oh your my thoughts. God. This feels like an old school matchup. I mean, Kitana Khan, Takinada, Desarded playing in our events basically since the beginning, since the very, very early MK11 days. And Let now they clash something. again. If Kitana Khan beats both of them, it's going to be such a feel good moment oh, for Avel, him. I, because I can see the shit talk the in the chat. Discord already. The people in the chat don't know how many times Kitana Khan got robbed by that Sub-Zero in MK11. <laughs> don't remind he us. He is going mad back then. He actually stopped playing because of Sub-Zero yes, because he got robbed right. so many times. And he A played reminder, Sergio and he played, he played we, top 5. We can drop the lore real quick. Back in the days, Kitana Khan stopped playing in our events because of Sub-Zero. Because Kitana Khan got robbed by that forward 2 in Grand Finals over and over again. And today he tries to get that sweet revenge <laughs> chat. For everyone who wants to see the shit talk after in the Discord, make sure to join it. Here's the link in the chat. And of course, you guys on YouTube can find the Discord link as well in the video description. And don't tag Avil. Avil is not a mod. Round one, fight. And now we see Extra for the first time on his OG main. No Raiden. 
Yeah, but he goes for the tremor. So we're gonna see some. Wait, who's going first? Is it is it the the good player or the bad player? We have to wait for confirmation in the chat. Let's see if he drops a combo. Yeah, that's the sword. That man is playing way too slow to be the Takinada. I'm playing like a grandpa. The breaker though from X Star. Oh, that was a nice oh. punish. That was a beautiful punish. Oh, wait, what the hell is happening? That was just beautiful. Did he, did he just got a combo from the armor move? What? The damage! It shoots me! Everybody's, what is the robbery? Every one of those numbers. 53%! Fair and balanced shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair and balanced, my ass. But this started putting in his work right now. There's a down four though. Nice block on the open. What a what? what? Never seen people block that. Again, so beautifully done. Goes to the crystalline tremor right there. Because rips, put on your seal belt. This is gonna hurt. It's a command grab. Maybe that is a big, big burger, extra cheese, bacon on this bad boy. Oh man, got the extra fries also with that combo. Oh, tries to end here. Huh? Did you see how the shuriken disappear? But right now, disarded. One touch again! Go! Disarded! The only Baraka player who still goes for the other ender of the string, and that will cost him the round. Oh boy. X Star taking that first life. Do you see Tremor right now? That is actually how Takinada feels carrying this Sardet, the big boulder on his shoulders. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Takinada already in the background, he's like, God, my brother sucks. You know, Chad, we, we have to shit talk the, the Sub-Zero brothers here oh, yeah. a little bit oh, for, yeah. for see, everything they it. put us through in MK11. Yeah, what? I mean, I was a player back then and they just put, they, I felt the pain. Do you remember, Abel, when we had to, to make the band season just because no one could be tucking out and disarted? <laughs> Rips, it got so bad that people who don't even play Sub-Zero started playing Sub-Zero because of them. We had people like Val playing Sub-Zero. They broke people. But command trap. Into the corner. No, oh my god, no. Get your numbers right. He amplified it, Rips. Jesus. Yep, and that means close to 40. If he had one more buy, he could have done like 40%. Jesus. We are not monsters. Down for into special. Oh, that's unsafe. He could have punished him with a down two there. This hard has to be careful. Oh, that was good. XR abusing that low poke. Yeah, I think I think XR is oh, actually pulling nice. out. Yep, that was nice. Finally, decided made the read neutral ducking the shurikens. But I think uh, when you see Extra pulling out the tremor, I think he pulls them out so he can block something of the sorted. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm still trying to get behind the idea there. But nice armor there from the sorted. Beautiful matchup now. Gets him with the stinky toe. Damn, the scaling on that combo was crazy. Oh, nice armor again. The sword waking up a little bit. A lot of whips, though. Gotta watch out. What are those pokes? Well, we're playing neutral? Yeah, I was about to say. All game long, they played both dumb rushed on, and now they're playing neutral. What the? What the? What the? What a back free right there from Xtar. He is not giving up right now. Tremor is loaded. Will he duck? He jumped! He was so scared of the command grab, and this is looking rough, Rips. Yo, XR goes for the complete cash out. How much damage is this? Jesus. 
No, don't don't tell me, Rips. No, that is not gonna kill. No, 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 no chance. But actually leaves him in a quite decent position. Oh yeah. He gets the armor! He is not alive anymore! That was so risky from the start. Wow. So this second semi-final is very, very close right now. Both players down to one life. Kitana Khan and Takinada still waiting for their turns. Let's see who's gonna be first. Hey, the rules do so much damage in this game, Ribs. And for everyone who just tuned in, this is the bracket of the day. Even though it's not, not the full bracket, the majority of matches happened off stream. We only are able to cover the last top eight. And that's what you see here. Ooh, Exxon not going for the down to punish there. Didn't I think he didn't realize it in time there, but yeah. Striker coming in with the little taser there. Nice back throw. It's been a while since we saw a Reiko normal throw. <laughs> Or oh, both of them looking for whiff punish. That poke is so long. <gasps> no, tell me he not. Is he bringing out the tremor? Okay, he messed it up. <laughs> Tre See, I think you're really trying to block something with that. I'm not sure what is going on in Exor's head. Maybe it's just overwhelmed with the tremor cameo. Both of them. Like you always like to say, playing neutral, but he gets shimmied by the stinky toe. Can the Sardic kill here? How I think much? he can, Rips. Not oh, quite able. Alive. Let's block on the overhead, the striker. Round two, fight. Ooh, we low crush those. Yeah, nicely done there from the Sardic. Flashlight into Taser. It's just so funny that the flashlight in, uh, to the face does damage. <laughs> <laughs> My man is giving you like eyesight problems. Definitely can't happen to us, Abel, because of our great sponsor, Woo. Gamer Advantage out there. For everyone who wants to get that spicy eyewear, you know, check it out. GamerAdvantage.com, code RIPS, 20% off. I just love those glasses. Jonathan, I see you in the chat. Welcome. Mm, and this the started. So, Abel, Kitana Khan, last remaining player. But we saw the damage Kitana Khan did in the previous round. That Sindel slash Kitana, never underestimate that. Yeah, now they need to go up against the final boss. Now Kitana Khan can get that sweet revenge for all the MK11 matches lost versus forward to Fatal. Oh my god, they're gonna struggle so much because Sindel is such... I mean, many of you... I mean, she is the best zoner. I mean, she, second best, third best, I don't know, she's just an insane good zoner. And Baraka, he definitely has some problems with the zoners, so it's gonna be interesting. Actually, Rips, I have a funny story, right? I wanted to get myself contact lenses, right? Mm -hmm. But then I got the glasses from Game of the Ranges, and since then, I didn't go back to my uh, contact lenses uh, guy who makes them for me. I, I just straight up... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta say, I, I wear the glasses a lot, um, not even here in front of my PC. I basically wear them all day long, because I, I re it really makes a difference. Oh, yeah. The only time where I don't wear them is in the gym, but other than that, I wear them all the time. Ooh, and Rips, started, I like the strike throw here. Mm. And you know what's crazy though for me, Rips? A guy like you who actually has no eyesight problem wearing a glasses all the time. Yep, that's right. Rayburn's saying, do gamer advantage, do prescriptions? Yes, Abel actually has prescription glasses. That's oh, right, and Kitana can't bring it back. Mm. This started getting robbed. 
Yeah, they do the description and all that kind of things. These glasses are better than the ones I got here. <laughs> And Kitana Khan, okay. Punish? Oh, that one. I didn't even know the recovery is that high. Oh, that move is so dirty. I hate it, Rips. But I cannot be mad because two big melons are watching me right now. <laughs> no. Chad, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. For everyone watching this right now, I apologize. The most unprofessional commentator on the mic. Why, why be sorry, Rips? They understand as well. <laughs> they have the same problem. Hmm. Kung Lao coming in with the oh, pro. Is that all she wrote? No. Is on life support bait? Yeah, that is it. That is it. We don't have the HP, and that means Kitana can't tie this entire match up. The final showdown is gonna be Kitana Khan versus Takinada, both on two lives. Oh, chat. And yes, the chat is right, it is Takinada time. Once again, the reminder, after this grand final time, our glass of rain and sparks, they are waiting for the winning team of this fight here. Oh yeah. I mean, Takinada right now, he, he call him Ash Ketchum because he just pulled back his Charizard to start it and put himself <laughs> into the fight right now. I take it back. That's how it would never be a Charizard. We would be like, the, 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 what is this, uh, the, the rat you get in the first round? You know? <laughs> Ratata. <laughs> Ratata. That's the Sardin. <laughs> the opening. Oh my god, that was a steamroll right there. <laughs> was that your round two, fight. Oh, we get Chimit. Yeah, but the striker with the help there for Kitana Khan actually because it made the start attacking out his combo drop. Armor. Now it's a blockable, nothing it can do there. Just a dirty setup. Striker coming in with the taser. Get off me, young woman! I like this throw. Taki not ready. Kitana Khan once again with the life lead. All the flawless blocks. Taki had the spacing here. Doesn't believe two times. Ooh, what a jump over. Didn't get anything though. The throws are just coming in. The armor whiffed. Taki Nader. I don't know if he's old right now or his brother, but it was a nice hour again from Kitana Khan. And wow. Kitana, Kitana Khan's Khan. matchup knowledge is so insane. Sindel. And Kaisen is saying, I'm kind of confused, isn't this already out? Yes, he is, but they are brothers. They are saying, uh, playing on the same account. They literally sit next to each other. They just pass the controller along. So we don't have to invite several people. Tarkatan souls are not allowed in the living forest. We can't risk infecting the honored dead. Kitana Khan on match point. That means X Star and Kitana Khan potentially gonna meet our glass of rain and sparks in the grand finals today. Oh, if I was our glass of rain and sparks, I would be scared of that Sindel. Trust me. There's nothing else I've been doing in Combat League than losing to Kitana Khan. A 
Another throw. Right, yep, get your ass in the corner. Oh, no up block right there. Oh, Takinada, it's looking rough right now because the corner is not a place you want to be where this Kitana can right now. Nice poke. Keeps on taking his turn. Kitana can try his best to take his turn, but Takinada not allowing it. Plus saw minus two, down two, just for good measurement. Back throw. One touch, both players. I mean, two touches because both players have a stick of butter. There's a breaker. Poke special is gonna do it. Saki still showing signs of life. That was a nice round right there from Takinada. But now the zoning jumps on the bus for blocks in time. That was lucky there from Takinada. Oh, interesting trades here over and over again. My god, the mashing right now from both players is incredible. Will he spend the stick of butter? He does. Hmm, back throw. Oh Wake my god. Up back dash into buttons. That is that is a different kind of evil. There's a auto blockable. Bubble from the Your presence bored. Double kill. Forward throw, Kung Lao again coming in with a hundred punches into the head. Oh, yeah, that's an easy confirm right there from Kitana Khan. This is gonna hurt a lot, 32%. Block it overhead, try to flawless block. He is just in your head right now. Nice up block. Will he spend it? No, he does not. Goes for the Oki, tries to shimmy, tries his best. Striker coming in, nice, re uh, nice Rico. That is gonna does work. he get it? He doesn't! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Already shooting! This is looking good for Takinada though! Wait, did it like no damage? Oh wait, Rips. Avil, we are Rips. literally getting a final match here in the second semi-final. Everyone out there, I don't think I have to tell you what to do. Go crazy in the chat! And this is very, very close. Who is gonna meet Sparks and Hourglass of Rain in the Grand Finals? Both teams are fighting for it right now. But you guys know, there can only be one. So everyone, drop your favorite emo, drop those AOs. We're gonna have a little party in here. Avil on the mic, only one remaining set after this. Let me press the magic button real quick. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the support and for just being the best community. Both players, one life and a dream. Oh, one. Oh, the up block. That's a good start from Takinada. Gets the extra meter as well. First hit, so important in this game. And gets another opening. Kitana Khan, what is happening right, happening right now? Shivering a little bit. Already down half his HP bar. Overhead blocked. Striker got hit in the knee right there. Oh, nice throw out of the corner. 54 to 46. Very close chat prediction. What is this chat prediction? <laughs> it only says Takidana. <laughs> and Taki, he is so close. He can smell that grand final. Round two. Uh, is that a bitter end for Kitana Khan's revenge? Will the curse keep on going, Rips? Let's see. Never count him out, though. All those daggers. Oh, and Takinada, now he is just pressing. Kitana Khan gotta start with the backdash as he needs to get out of those poke ranges. Jimmy. Hard to block a 
God, it will not work. And Rips, this is it. Will he break? I don't think so. I think Takinata wants to keep his... He does. No, he believes. He, he wants this to be over. Oh, if he does not get this round, Rips, this is going to be one of the biggest mistakes ever. Nice forward throw. Gets him with the taser. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, Don't down. you sit down. Final match, final round, final everything. Oh. And Takinara just spent all his meter. This is looking rough. Nice back throw. Forward pro escape failed. Takinara guessing wrong right there on the 50 50. Do you see my boy Combat just coming in with a spicy raid? 120 people come and I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Hope you had a great stream. We are watching our 2v2 league right now. And this is a final match in the second semi-final while we are waiting for the opponent oh, team for Hourglass of Rain and Sparks representing the NA side of things today. This is super, super close. Kitana Khan in that Sindel looking mm. super strong. And Abel, yeah, I'm not it. sure if this is gonna work. Brute, GG's. <laughs> well played, Wait, my friend. The camera does a quitality as well. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Sindel That's wins. amazing. Combat rated us. Let me get my bomber jacket real quick, Rips. Oh, Abel, just like that, we are down to the last match of the night. And Kitana Khan and X-Star, they actually made it. And they are going to meet Team NA in our 2v2 Tag Team Combat event. Good luck to every single remaining team. We started with like 16 players today. And now we are down to the last four chat. So let's have a look. Here is the bracket. I'm sending out these invites. Wow. Thank you, Pumping General, for the gifted sub to Combat. Or Zombat, sorry. It's not it's not Combat anymore. We need to call him Zombat. That is right. So, Avon, who do you have in this? Is it going to be Kitana Khan and X-Star? Or do you think Team NA are going to conquer this tournament today? I said it from the start, Rips. I keep... I, I, I still go with the Team KK just because he keeps on beating me. <laughs> okay. Let's see, definitely, I gotta say, Kitana Khan and X-Star don't underestimate this two. Very, very strong team. But we can say the exact same thing about Hourglass and Sparks as well. So this is gonna be a blockbuster. Everyone, put your seatbelts on, run to the fridge real quick and grab that cold drink because I'm pretty sure these two teams are gonna put on an absolute show now. Here's the chat prediction. Wizard saying, rips the gold, let's go. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. A big, big shout out to everyone joining us here from Xombat's big, big raid. Hope everyone is having a great Sunday so far. If not, we try to make it a little bit better with some competitive MK. Players are in the lobby. Chat, it's time to sweat. So... Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Grand Finals? I know a proud dad is ready for those Grand Finals. We are starting with X-Star on Sindel. Sindel. Is, is that a bug? I didn't even know that X-Star has a Sindel. I was, I was about to hide off this uh, Ladies and final grand this finals, but I'm confused. X-Star and Kitana Khan, Team Sindel here today. Now it's getting interesting. Now I have four reasons to root for that team. <laughs> but Sparks, yeah, nice not impressed. From Sparks. You do the prism. Let's boot up the chat prediction. It is still running. Let's watch it in real time. Right now, 39% on X-Star and Kitana Khan. 62% believing in Team NA. I mean, don't count out Team NA. They have one of the best players in that combination. Our glass of rain. But don't count out Sparks as well. He's been showing his, his worth. All right now, the zoning from X-Star. I have no idea he's playing still. And for everyone who potentially just joined us for this or just skipped to the grand final on YouTube, this works with a live format. That means every single player joins with two lives, and once those two lives are basically down to zero, his teammate steps in. That's how 2v2 works here in MK1. Ooh, 
That was an interesting idea right there from Sparks, jumping after the Sindel pressure. But right now, armor comes out. Goro whiffing! Ooh, that could have gone way sideways. Get off me. Well, let's see though. The hell am I watching right now? Oh, the pressure. Plus frames. Nice follow box. Makes it minus six, but X are still mashing afterwards. Not respecting anything. What? He just stuck the projector and went straight through him. Ooh, oh, nice. Goro coming in clutch. There is the Buddha buff. Nice armor. Has you no always Goro have after. to respect that wake up. Oh, you definitely do. Goro for the plus frames. Both are so patient right now. Both don't want to lose this right now. Amplifies to make the projectile in mid. Oh, it sucks. What is he cooking? Oh, that was just too slow right there. Nice intention, but yeah. Kung Lao low buzzsaw. Almost has no recovery. Nice up. Goro coming in. Helping out a little bit. Sparks. Heaven in the corner right now. Oh, no confirm. The lady in the background cheering right now. An X star. We go for the conditioning. I just want to mention X star didn't do one combo in this set. But you know who just doing a combo right now? Yep, it is, is Sparks. Young Sparks, one of our youngest competitors, by the way. And he takes that first round. X star down to one. Down your yes, it doesn't look bad though. They will stop it. No, no, I'm doing it. No, come on. Give me another host, please. Old Glass of Rain is happy about that. Let's see if Spark can actually get another one and eliminate that first player. Final set prediction, 61%. And Exter keeps the Sindel. I think Exter does not like the Reiko in this matchup. It might be a thing there. It might be the case, but, uh, but Abel, he has that Raiden. I'm surprised that he doesn't go for Raiden in this. Last frames. Tries to follow the it Was a little bit too slow there. Nice poke. Now the pressure is on. Ooh, nice jump though. I like the I like the idea from Sparks making Sindel with but right now. Rips. It is hard to blockable town now. It is, yes. What? How did he block that? That was incredible! Are having his back to the corner, but can he still get one more opening? That's all he needs. Oh, can he confirm it? He does. Of course, he can, Abel. Uh, rip her arm off, he ripped the bone off her shoulder. Is it death? Oh, death maybe. That was a beautiful hit, confirm. <laughs> yeah, the 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 saying the same in the chat. Yeah. Expect it. Sparks again. Oh, Goro missing its target. Just having his presence is an upward. Oh my god, did you just see what the father of Hourglass said? The god drips. <laughs> We're looking like a Lego. That's God tier. That's a God tier dead joke right there. Ooh, get him with the helicopter though. Corner pressure right now. What is Sparks gonna do? Can Axel make any comeback from this? What is this combo? Full string. Oh, nice poking. Takes his turn. Oh, but Sparks even ready for the throw. 
tries to go for a punish there. No, Wait, he does. does he get it? He got it! Don't drop the hard to blockable. There it is. Oh, he tries to drop away that, from that it. That was kind of smart. That was smart from Sparks Able. He just took the hit to get out of the pressure. Watch out for the armor. Ooh, the zoning right now. Look at the chip that does. Nice jump. Ooh, poke special though. And Sparks immediately sliding in those DMs saying, what's up, baby? What's up? You're not conditioning me. Helicopter your way into the corner. Oh, nice poke right there. <gasps> oh, and he can confirm that this is going to hurt right there. 27% from an air projectile. Shimmy. Gets him with the shimmy, yeah. Oh my god, ribs. Sparks, you are an absolute mad lad. Brutality. Right into the brute. X Star defeated. All eyes on Kitana Khan, the last remaining player. Yeah. So, Evil, can Kitana Khan make this miracle happen? Let's see, Rips, let's see. Grand final time. This was our full top 8 bracket. We started two and a half hours ago. And now we only have three players left in this. And remember, the winner of this set not only wins today, but gets himself with his teammate qualified for the grand finals. And Rips... Who is already waiting all in that there grand finals? Go. Have the first, as uh, rank number one seed, Kitana Khan, no, not Kitana Khan, Kanimani and Video Games Yo, sorry. Second seed, Markuran and Rotha. Third seed, Moody and Faisal. And today we're gonna see who's gonna be the fourth seed. Moody and Faisal, what a good yep, team. The champion team. That's a nasty team right there. But I gotta say, when it comes to the finest ribs, of course I gotta go with our arena boys. Kitana Khan kind of cooking right here in the corner. Oh, Sparks. Yeah. Yep, that is a different kind of Sedel. You can oh, literally yeah. see that is a true main here on Kitana Khan's side. You can definitely see the difference immediately. That boy plays this character day and day out. Must we renew combat? Round two fight. <laughs> He gets it by the second part of the string. Nice confirm from Sparks. Gets the Buddha buff up. What is that combo? That is nasty good. What the hell is happening? No Sparks. He's going crazy. Oh, there's a little Buddha buff. Little stagger there. And this threw off Kitana Khan so hard. It was a flawless route right now. Holy moly. Let's nice poke. Overhead connects. Little bus saw. Hard to blockable. Ah, sparks are so good on blocking those. No. What? What? Nice 1 1 right there. Calls it out, Kitana Khan. Rips. If he does it right, this could kill right now. It could. Sparks is so good in this matchup. He knows so much. Uh, he knows everything. Uh, he knows. He knows an answer for everything. He has an answer for everything. That's the word I was looking for. Armor plus frames. Rips. What is that hit confirm? Evil, is that what you can do when you're still young? How? I felt old watching this right now. Our glass of rain and sparks on tournament point. Kitana Khan I mean, needs reversal 4-0. <laughs> the 
Sparks putting on an stellar performance right now. Kitana Khan, after having a crucial match versus the Takina, uh, versus the Raka brothers, now needs a reversal 4 0 versus one of the best player in NA and Sparks. This is gonna be. <laughs> I, said that, I said that disrespectfully, I know. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one. The matrons have begun whispering. I'll take whatever punishment may come. Can Sparks do it? Round one. Fight. I mean, this man just been outperforming himself right now so much. But Kitana Khan got the hit confirm. Sets up the auto blockable. Look at Kitana Khan and is changing his ways on doing it and just messing it up because Sparks kind of got into his head, but it still doesn't change the fact that he's still playing versus Sindel. Oh, nice. Gets him with the full string right there. Don't tell me Sparks makes this comeback. Will he use this breaker? No, he keeps his meter. He does it smartly. And Kitana Khan taking this round. Round two, fight. What? Great pickup. Oh! I don't know if you just saw what happened there, Rips, but both Kitana Khan and uh, Sparks use their Amplify Projectile and both nullify each other because both nullify projectiles. That was actually funny to see. Interesting. Oh, Sparks going for the snipe here with the torpedo kicks. Oh, the torpedo kicks, so I cannot call them the helicopter kicks, I see. This is looking rough right now. Folks, trade. Wait, don't tell me, Rips. Don't tell me he makes this comeback. <gasps> Wait! No, Kitana Khan showing signs of life. Sparks down to one. But it is so dangerous when you still have Hourglass there sitting on the bench, full HP. I mean, even if Sparks loses this round, him just taking a round of Kitana Khan, putting him in that dangerous situation. And I mean, if I was Hourglass of Rain Rips, I would get so much confidence from that because knowing that Sparks got a round of KK yep, is true. so good for him. Nice back throw. Kitana Khan is so good with those. There's a poke special. Gets the Buddha buff up. Nice breaker. Full strength. Gets him with the low disco spinner though. This is interesting right now, Rips. Oh, shimmy! And no sparks. Oh, the slowly running away with the game. We will leave a miracle rips. Flawless block. That was clutch, but sparks decided to press after. Some lives are taken and ladies and gentlemen, sparks one round away. By the way, just happened again. No, no defying each other's projectile. One round away on taking this tournament and. I hate to say it, but putting Hourglass of Red in his backpack in, the, in this Grand Finals. Nice shimmy there. That's the confirm. Tana Khan. Believing in his skill though. Oh, we didn't get the Goro. All those saggers adding up. Home special, okay.
My god, for how many times, for how long did Kitana got just hold that block button? But shimmy, now gets yep. the shimmy. Oh, and he gets him with the chip out right there. Oh, nice float. Both playing so patiently. Both don't want to really lose much HP. There is the torpedo kicks. <gasps> Big drop, but the ender helped him out there. And the thing is, now it counts for Kitana Khan. Don't make any crucial mistakes. Nice armor. The buster. The hard to blockable. Gets to confirm. Ooh, he just needs one more of those rips. One more hard to blockable. How does he block those? But he gets to confirm anyways because he broke the armor. And Kitana Khan. Oh, rips, I, 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 I. Call out. No, Kitana Khan is making all the reads, chat. And this match is not over yet. Our glass of rain has to honor AFK and enter this. Got him at the end of the day with the hard to block of those reps, but I mean, Chet put a big S in Chet for Sparks' incredible performance. I mean, that time he played out of his mind. Melina, Zindel, Kung Lao, Kung Lao. The Hourglass. Keep Katana by your side. Rely on her counsel. I will, mother. Round one, fight. Ooh, what a call with the teleport. All right, now we go from a little bit slower gameplay to a really quick gameplay because our guys of Rain Rips, one of the best rushdown players. The as rushdown well. machine. Was, oh yeah, that was a beautiful pickup already. Oh, what a call out on the armor, blocking overhead as well. And Jesus rips, this is already the first round. <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta talk with his daddy because our this kid of rain. had way too many energies. That's right, our glass of rain saying, now it's my time to shine, chat. Breaker already gone from Kitana Khan. I don't know how he always finds all those openings. And even the father is saying that wasn't even fair. <laughs> <laughs> but now Kitana Khan with the hard to blockables, with the dirty things. I think there is a reason why this character is top Yo, one what? and Kitana Khan showing. Jesus. That's a one touch character right there, ladies and gentlemen. Is it going to come down to, to the absolute wire? Fight. <gasps> no, he misses the pickup. What? What? It was beautiful reaction from Hourglass. What is that move? I don't. I, I didn't even know he really had that. And projectile. There is a low bus. So tries to run away. What is this? Charges us up. Doesn't punish. I think that's safe. I have no idea what the stunning move is, Rips. I've seen it for the first time. Nice flawless block, by the way. There from Kitana Khan gets a full combo punish here. Hourglass of Rain. It's in his self distance. Teleport was blocked. Wait. No! no! Cash out city. What? What was that call out from Kitana Khan? It's not over Punishing yet. It's not over. What the hell? Oh my god, I thought he got the, I think I thought he got a combo. Teleport cancer? Wait. Our glass of rain literally turning into a Beyblade here in front of our eyes chat. The teleport comes in clutch and this tournament is over. Team NA conquering this entire bracket. It's that full screen play there from our glass of rain. Fatality. GG's. 
Abel, what can I say? Beautiful stuff from literally every single team competing today. Big, big congratulations to Sparks and Hourglass after a phenomenal run. Making it here to the end of this bracket. That was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did here on the commentary side. We saw some phenomenal gameplay, some insane reads, Abel, and some great commentary here from my boy. Abel, did you like it? I mean, I always enjoy doing commentary rips. So I think just like that, it is that time of the day where we have to send you guys over to another great content creator. Of course, we're going to be back tomorrow. Regular League Series continuing tomorrow, I think week three. So I cannot wait to see you guys again. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wherever you're watching from. Stay safe out there. And I can't wait to be back. So chat, make, make sure to follow the socials everywhere. Join the Discord if you want to stay in touch.